as many of you all know, tomorrow is going to be a big day for professional wrestling fans because not only do we have the AEW Fire Fest, which is going to be the two-night event, and then you got the Great American Bash, which also is going to start their two-night event. And this episode of NXT Tomorrow Night, part one of the Great American Bash, it's going to feature a match that's going to have Sasha Banks going up against Io Shirai. Now, there is a lot of excitement for this match because many people consider this as a dream match for many wrestling fans. And I wanted to share my predictions on what is going to happen with this match tomorrow night and how WWE is going to book this match and some storyline ramifications for this. I'm going to say it like this. This match to me is going to be one of the top matches of the night. This to me will be the match of the night. It wouldn't be a surprise despite the fact that we have a couple of matches that are going to be on that card, like the uh, Fatal 4-Way Women's Match to determine who will go up against uh, Io Shirai at, on a future NXT episode or a future Network special. We don't know. We'll have to see what happens with that. And I really think this is going to be one of the best women's matches of the year. I mean, can it uh, rival Charlotte Flair versus uh, Rhea Ripley from... WrestleMania, it's possible because right now that is the top women's match of 2020 in my personal opinion, but this match is going to be really, really good. My prediction for the match, and this is, I'm going with my heart on this one. There's going to be some shenanigans, which I think is going to prevent this match from being a five-star match. This could more likely be a four- four and a half star match and when I talk about overbooked shenanigan finishes it's more than likely that Bailey is going to interfere in this match to cause a disqualification I don't see Sasha Banks winning this match at all because you look at Sasha Banks right now Sasha Banks is now the number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship after last night so she is going to be going up against uh, Asuka at the Extreme Rules, the horror show, which right now I think it's going to be a horror show, to say the very least. But we'll talk about that another day. And I know a lot of wrestling fans, they hate disqualifications. I do. But in a scenario like this, it makes sense here because you want to protect Sasha Banks here because, like I said, Sasha Banks goes up against Asuka, Io Shirai, Recently became the NXT Women's Champion. And she is going to be defending her title against whoever wins that Fatal 4-Way match tomorrow. Now, this saves the rematch for a pay-per-view down the road. Uh, could possibly be, like I said, at an NXT pay-per-view. Or SummerSlam. Think about it for a moment. We had, like I said, Charlotte and Rhea Ripley at WrestleMania. Now you can have Sasha Banks... And Io Shirai at SummerSlam. But also, it's going to set up a really fun tag team match. And I'm going to say this right now. This is probably going to be night two of the Great American Bash. Now, that tag team match, of course, is going to be Sasha Banks and Bayley going up against Io Shirai and Asuka. But you know what? I'm actually going to put something really interesting over here. That could be for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. And when you think about that for a moment, it would be a great match and possibly a great update, uh, upgrade uh, to uh, week two of the Great American Bash. Now, we know that Asuka is currently feuding with Sasha Banks and Bayley. And it makes sense for her to come out at Great American Bash and help Io Shirai. Fans will love the tag team match. And that is how I see this going down. So, to conclude, Bailey gets involved in the match tomorrow night. That's going to lead to Asuka coming out, making the save. It leads to a tag team match, possibly for the women's tag team titles. It's a win-win situation. 
for WWE and for everybody that's involved. So let me know what you think in the comment section below here on YouTube.com. Of course, uh, what I'm going to be doing on Thursday, I will be putting up the Wrestling Observer Radio's uh, review of the AEW's Friar Fest and the NXT's Great American Bash. So until then, check that out. Subscribe to my channel. I am out. Deuces and love.